Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise? Today, we honor the memory of Giants President Wellington Mara, who passed away on Tuesday at the age of 89. Faith, family, and football were the foundation of his life. And for eight, eight decades, his wisdom and integrity were guiding lights, not only for the Giants, but for the entire National Football League. His love of the game, his Giants, and you, the fans, were unparalleled. We ask now that you observe a few moments of silence in memory of Giants President Wellington Mara. And now to honor America, please remain standing and join granddaughter of Wellington Mara, Miss Kate Mara, as she sings our national anthem, surrounded by the rest of the Mara grandchildren. Giants have had big fourth quarter comebacks in their last two games against Dallas and Denver. They start from their own 27-yard line. The toss to Tiki Barber on first down. Tiki down the sidelines. One man to beat at Sean Springs. And Springs knocks him out of bounds at the Redskins. 15-yard line, a 58-yard run by Barber. Tiki Barber really struggled against the Redskins both games last season great job by everybody up front a poor angle by Sean Taylor he gets caught up on the inside that allows the hole for Tiki Barber to get through and then he explodes down the sideline nobody really there as he goes around that left side 39 yard field goal he has hit his last 12 Feely makes it 13 in a row, matching his career best. So the Giants score three on their opening drive. That was the, uh, the poke protector. Poke protector. We all have our roles, yeah, We all have our roles. 
Second down and eight. Again, it's Barber. Good cut back. Second big run of the game. Tiki down the sidelines. Finally brought down at the two. Well, the way this defense is set up, every gap is covered. We saw in the first long run, it was Sean Taylor who got out of the gap. Let's take a look and see where it is this time. I'm assuming it's probably your outside linebacker right there because the play cut back all the way to the outside. They've got the blitz on with Walt Harris coming up on the outside. He doesn't squeeze down. So you had your outside linebacker get caught up inside, and when Walt Harris came on the blitz, he didn't squeeze down enough to seal off that cutback lane for Tiki Bar. Brandon Jacobs in the backfield, second and goal. Jacobs. Touchdown. Brandon Jacobs, the rookie out of Southern Illinois, scores his third touchdown of the season. Well, the New York Giants, they've been moving the ball effectively, but they've been kicking field goals. It was important for them on this time when they got inside the five to get the touchdown. Brandon Jacobs makes three people miss. And uh, that's an interesting effort by Kerry Campbell. I don't know if Greg Williams is going to be very excited about that when he sees it on film. Feely adds the extra point. Jacobs tripped up for a loss on the previous play. Have had trouble matching that emotion of the Giants all afternoon to this point. Second and 15, wide receiver screen. It was tipped. Boss made the catch and then fumble. Santana Moss, after the pass was deflected, made the catch, started to run. He fumbled, and it's recovered by Kendrick Clancy. Well, we saw the defensive rank of the New York Giants. They are number 31 in total defense in the league, but the one thing they have been doing is generating turnovers. And they do it again. They give their offense great field position. It's Corey Webster with the strip right there on Santana Moss. And Kendrick Clancy, and she just did a fantastic job with that rendition. Brunel on second and 10. Intercepted as a flag as well. There is a penalty marker as it is brought back to the 30-yard line by the ex-Redskin, Antonio Pierce. O.C. Eumannior is having a monster game right now. Holding number 60 out there. The play is defined. He's over the play. First down Giants. And the guy that Chris Samuels is holding is O.C. Eumannior, number 72 on the outside. He is getting a great first step. He's getting upfield. Clinton Portis has got to give a little bit of help right there. You've got a guy who's been, he hasn't got the sacks, but he is the guy that's forcing Mark Brunel to step up into other pressure to move the pocket from side to side to side to throw the ball before he's ready to throw. Beagle's the holder. Feely from 39. Makes it four for five. In the first half, the Giants lead us down 19-0. Still two seconds on the clock. Log on to FoxSports.com. Busy first half for Jay Feely, who kicks off here. He attempted five field goals. He made four. Liddell Betts brings it out from two yards deep in the end zone. And Betts oh. lost the football. It's recovered by Willie Ponder. So Liddell Betts coughs up the opening kickoff of the second half. Ponder was there to pounce on it. Well, it looked like he had a running lane. Watch his wedge. His wedge does a good job creating a lane for him. There's the little split. Not even a big hit on the ball, just some poor ball security by Liddell Betts. Ward in the backfield, first and goal from the 10. Manning with time, complete to Shockey. And Jeremy Shockey is in for the touchdown. Jeremy Shockey was very emotional before the kickoff this afternoon. Probably the second closest member of this team to Wellington Mary. He had a huge influence on his life. You know how special this is for Jeremy Shockey. Tiki Barber has had a huge day this afternoon, but Jeremy Shockey didn't have an opportunity until that play. I guarantee you that that is going to be the most meaningful touchdown of his career. I don't care what he does from this point on.
What an impact Wellington Mara had on Jeremy Shockey. Jeremy talked about it all week long. Shockey in the slot. Barra split left. A handoff to Barber. And Tiki Barber is in for the touchdown. What an inspired performance Tiki Barber has, has had this afternoon. A career high 206 yards, second highest total in team history. Gene Roberts rushed for 218 yards against the Chicago Cardinals in 1950. Tiki with 206 and a touchdown.